Qualcomm mostly in line to a little uh, below expectations revenue coming in at $4.815 billion non-GAAP versus $4.9 billion expected uh, non-GAAP earnings per share at a buck twenty versus a dollar nine cents expected. So that is a significant beat. Um, on the different divisions here, QCT, the chip business, came in just about in line at three point. Seven uh, billion dollars, three point eight was expected. QTL, the licensing business, just about in line. On the guidance, they're guiding uh, to a range of four point four to five point two billion dollars for the current quarter. The street was looking for four point eight, so they're just about there at the midpoint. But on MSM chip shipments, the street was looking for around one hundred seventy-nine million. They're guiding to a range of one hundred fifty to one hundred seventy. That's one hundred sixty million at the midpoint. Stocks up about three percent after hours. Though perhaps because, similar to Apple, given all of the macro issues and China issues, um, the overall guide not, uh, not pessimistic, uh, at least not as much as some might have thought, guys. John, thank you very much for that. Qualcomm up uh, nearly 3% uh, after, after the hours. Uh, Mike, your take on this? Uh, just, you know, pretty, pretty solid. I mean, I think the, the guidance is reassuring in this environment. So I don't think, uh, I don't think the market was too far off in expecting this, even though the, uh, the broader semiconductor group is uh, having some relief rally.